Good day. In this video, we're going to go over how to set up your new Cadillac or your used Cadillac as it may be uh, from top to bottom. This is uh, we're going to explain the uh, dash settings and we're also going to explain Cadillac Q, which we'll get to in a minute. So let's go through it. We're going to go through all of the settings and explain how to update them, how to set them. Uh, and we're going to get through it quickly uh, because presumably you're just looking for one or two things. So let's roll through it. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the dash. The dash is controlled by these, uh, by this uh, uh, button, this rocker button over here. So I'm going to press the left button and up here you can see it's going to change. Now that setting allows me to, so I'm now going to press and click on it and I can move down and up and I can get all of the things in the information range. Temperature, you know, trip uh, odometer settings, things like that. Now what I like is I like to know the uh, speed limits, so I'm going to set it to speed. There it is. Now I'm in my garage, so right now there's nothing, but if I was on the road, it would actually tell me what's going on. Okay, so let's go through the next one. This is your stereo settings. Some people like this. This is um, what's on your uh, favorites. Uh, we can just toggle through it. I'm not going to do any more than that. Uh, back to the left down to your phone. I've seen that people want this set up as well. So I'm going to press again on the select button. Uh, I disconnected my phone just now, but if I had my phone settings uh, in there, I'd be able to play with that. Um, if I had my phone connected, uh, I'd have it uh, set up there. Uh, this is nav. This is kind of neat. So I'm going to press on that. And uh, if I had, well, you can see there, there is my maps. Uh, that's a handy little setting. Um, uh, so that might be something you'd like to do. And then this is the entire dash layout. So let's click on that. And uh, there's a classic layout, uh, which I'll, I'll scroll down here. Let's go to a modern layout, which strips everything out. Um, some people like that. I do not. Uh, I'm going to press the uh, click on it, uh, select classic, and then up to modern dashboard enhanced. That's the one I like. I like to see everything that's going on. Okay, then the next uh, setting on the left here is uh, all of the various settings. Do you want it kilometers or miles? I'm in Canada, although I picked this up in Seattle a couple of days ago, so this was in miles previously. Um, uh, speedometer warning. Yeah, so what that is is uh, just that. If you uh, go over the speed limit, it will uh, beep on the dash, and it will say, or, sorry, the, the car will beep and uh, let you know that uh, you are going over the speed limit. Um, quite annoying, so I've turned that off. Um, yeah, tutorials you can only do while you're sitting here. This is just uh, licensing information, who cares? And that's it. So that's the dashboard setup. Now there are a couple of other things you probably want to do here uh, with your uh, new Cadillac. The first is uh, to set up the automatic headlights. So the automatic headlights are, and I'm going to set up from your perspective, there we go, automatic headlights, which almost every Cadillac have, is right here. So you want to set that to auto. Now, uh, if you have automatic high beams, which most do, let's turn this on. So my car is now running and you'll see at the top here, I have an A with an auto uh, as an automatic high beams. If I pull back on the stick, that'll turn the high beams on. If I turn, um, if I'm on the road and driving and I pull this, I pull the stick back, I pull the stick back, it will change the high beams from auto to not auto to back to auto. So what you need to do is pull on the stick, which is right here, and pull back, and that will change that. You'll see the auto go on and off. So um, that's your automatic high beams. Okay, the next thing you probably have is rain sensing wipers, and that is right here on this stick. And you, what you need to do is set it to intermittent. If it's on intermittent, it will rain sense and you will be on your way. Anything else, the automatic wipers will not be uh, will not be enabled. Okay, the next thing you need to do uh, is go through your Cadillac Q. So let's set that up. This is uh, not challenging, but it is um, or not, but it, it can be quite confusing. So let's go through and set it up. Uh, if you want to um, activate the system, you probably know you just wave your hand over it and you'll get various settings up at the top here. Uh, one thing to notice is if you have a 2015 or older, this will not be here. 2015 or older Cadillac will not have this projection option. Uh, in my case, this is Cadillac ELR, it's electric. What I have there is a little green leaf, so I can see what the efficiency is on the vehicle. Uh, so if you have 2016 or newer, however, uh, you will have this projection button. If you have a 2016 uh, Cadillac, it will ship with CarPlay, but it will not 
probably ship, there's one exception, I can't recall which one it is, it will not ship with Android Auto. Uh, however, it's a free upgrade, so you just take it to your dealer and they will upgrade it to include Android Auto. And that's simply because they didn't have Android Auto ready when they brought it out. So, um, they being GM, not, uh, not uh, Google. Again, these buttons along the top you probably already know, so we're going to leave that alone for the moment. We're going to drill through them in a more orderly fashion. So I'm going to go first to the home button down here, okay? And that will change the screen and show projection as I've already explained. That's just saying Android Auto or, uh, or Google uh, uh, CarPlay. Nav, uh, let's rip through this very quickly uh, because this is not uh, obvious. Uh, when you uh, go into your menu, you can uh, select your current location, traffic, map view. These things are pretty straightforward, so I'm going to leave those alone. What I am going to explain, however, is map view. Map view is not quite probably what you expect. So there's a 3D view, which basically keeps everything in your perspective, you know, so you can see the road, you turn left. This, there's, there's, there is not the concept of north, south, east, and west here. There's the concept of what's in front of you, and that's probably what most people are looking for. However, I typically like the north up view, which is that, right? So north is that way, and that always makes sense. Now, uh, one of the things I don't like about this is that you can't customize these views beyond this. So just take note of that. So um, there's also a 3D view, which just tips it over. Day-night mode, uh, that's whether it's dark or bright. Uh, and uh, for most people, you're going to want to set it to auto, although I have seen people turn it off. So let's go there. Auto zoom, uh, That's um, that means when you... Let's go back here. So when you go to home and then into home and then into nav, uh, and you click zoom in, what happens when you are uh, near an intersection? Do you want it to um, do you want it to uh, zoom in uh, a little more? Do you want it to zoom out when you're on the highway? That kind of thing. And most people do. So most people will set this uh, the uh, settings here to. Oh, sorry. Let's go to menu. Map view, auto zoom on. That's how most people will want to do it. Okay, display for places of interest. That's just on the map again. Not particularly interesting. We're going to leave that alone. Personal data. So this you can wipe out um, uh, if you wish. So if you're worried about it, you can wipe out the uh, you know uh, autocomplete. You can also add contacts and uh, and it will keep track of your recent destinations. Let's go back and let's go again to the home button. And we'll go to weather. Weather, actually, I'm going to skip. It's, it's useless. Um, climate. Uh, there's really nothing uh, tremendously interesting here other than if these get out of sync, there's a sync option that shows up right here. So um, if I go into here and I set, you know, I want a dual climate zone over here, uh, I can say, yeah, now I've changed my mind. I want to click sync, and there they are. Uh, now, my car has this uh, notion of minimum uh, uh, eco and max for the efficiency. Yours may not, and that's because mine is running an electric uh, powertrain, and it's uh, that really affects the power consumption. Okay, now in here also I have automatic heated seats. Uh, yours probably has that. Nothing too exciting there. Uh, let's move out of here, go back to home. Uh, energy your car probably won't have. Uh, this is a Cadillac ELR. This shows the flow right now. It's not moving, so there's nothing there. Uh, charging, really the only interesting thing here is you can change the... Um, uh, the uh, charging from 8 amps to 12 amps, which again, most, you know, very few Cadillacs are going to have, just uh, the CTS uh, 6 and um, and um, this ELR, so not a lot of them. Anyway, the interesting, in the off chance you care, the interesting part about this is you cannot default it to 12 amps. As soon as you uh, charge the car and drive away, it will reset back to 8, so there's no way to set that, which is quite frustrating. Uh, information, this just tells you your averages. Again, most people don't have this, so we're going to skip through it. Okay, the phone, this is where you pair your Bluetooth. So what you would do is click, simply click player, pair device and set it up. As soon as you, uh, as soon as you do your pair, it's going to uh, pop up uh, on your phone and say, hey, would you uh, like to have your contact synced? And the answer, of course, for most people is yes. So let's get out of that and go back to home and uh, audio. Um, I'm going to turn this off because I don't want the audio here. So there we go. Now, the inter there are a few interesting things here that you may not expect. Uh, the first is um, there's the favorites bar along the bottom, but it scrolls. You can see there are three dots here, and those three dots, that gives you an indication of which of these screens you're on. So let's go through some of the menu settings here because there are a few interesting ones. 
Um, if you want to change firstly from uh, radio or AM to FM to whatever, there's no really obvious way to do that. But the answer is you just press the radio button. It changes to XM, that changes to AM, and that changes back to FM. And I'm just going to power that off again. Uh, media. Now there's, uh, in, uh, every Cadillac I have been in, there is a USB port in the, uh, glove, uh, sorry, in the center console that you can plug into. And, um, if you, uh, take a USB, a device and you plug it into that, uh, that contains MP3s, um, it will uh, be able to play that music. And I just recently made a very long trip with this car and used it extensively. Very nice feature. So, um, that's, uh, that's the media inputs. Tuning is obvious. Uh, that's direct tuning. If I want to, I can click on that. I'm going to click back here because I don't want to. Uh, browse browses the stations that you already have set up. So we're going to get out of that. Um, and uh, you'll notice browse actually shows some interesting things. These are all of the stations that it thinks it can get. Um, so it depends on where you are and it will, uh, but I'll show you something in a minute that'll be helpful uh, for determining what those are. So let's go to menu. And in menu, look, look, so the tone settings, you know, so we're going to leave, we'll go into it quickly. Congratulations, you know how that works. Back, okay. Auto volume, very handy. So auto volume is saying, look, when you're on the highway and it's noisy, uh, do you want the, uh, do you want the audio to uh, go up a little bit? And when you're parking your car and it's quiet in your garage, do you want it to, you know, drop a little bit? And the answer for me is yes, I do want it to uh, adjust. Now I've had a few Cadillacs uh, where this doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, so if it doesn't for you, don't worry about it. That's not a big shock. In this one, however, it does make a notable difference, which is quite nice. So uh, I'm going to click back here. Uh, HD radio is just the quality of radio. So I'll leave HD radio on. Uh, in most, any place you're going to drive a Cadillac, the uh, high definition radio is going to be available. Uh, so let's go down here to update station list. Now update station list, that's what I was talking about before, where it showed the stations. And what it's going to do, what it's doing now is it's scanning through all of the stations, uh, all of the frequencies, I should say, uh, in your area, and it's going to come up with a list of them. And uh, I've already done this, so I'm going to click cancel, but um, that's what that feature is for. Let's go back to home. Uh, SMS, uh, basically, do you want it to read to you or not? So let's go to settings. And yes, I want text alerts on, and I can I can set predefined responses. Now, the really weird thing about this is, uh, while the car is in motion, uh, you can't uh, scroll through this list. So basically the ones at the top are the only ones you can get to while you're driving, which to me defeats the entire purpose of having this predefined message. So um, anyway, but that's the case. So let's go back here. And uh, now on the right, uh, there's an arrow and you can see the two dots at the bottom. I'm going to press the right arrow. Uh, OnStar is, if you have, set, if you have not set up OnStar, you should. It's free for, thir well, they say it's free for uh for night for 30 days it's actually it's always free for 90 because they always give you there's always a promotion on where they give you an extra three months uh if you bought a brand new cadillac uh it will probably come with a year worth of uh of free onstar uh well i guess it depends on the region you're in and the promotion that's currently going on but let's just go into onstar, OnStar quickly ready okay because there are a few settings here and it's listening to me now um one of the most frustrating things I had in the car is how to set up the Wi-Fi. Or sorry, why it's in OnStar, I don't understand. Please wait until after the beep to speak. Is, uh, <laughs> is Wi-Fi settings. So all of these GM cars have Wi-Fi settings now. So you go into Wi-Fi wi settings. Wi-Fi settings. Please see the owner's manual for information about your Wi-Fi you. hotspot settings. Right. So you think, okay, well, I just want to change this. I don't like that SSID and I don't like that password. Uh, I can't, there's nothing in here to, to set. Uh, the short version is uh, you have to go into my.gm.ca slash Cadillac if you're in Canada. If you're in the States, it's mycadillac.com. Uh, sign in there and that is where you set the Wi-Fi settings. Very, very odd. I, I have no idea why they're doing it that way. And I have no idea why this is tied into OnStar. Uh, the Wi-Fi settings should have, it's, you know, 4G, it's a cell phone connection. What it has to do with OnStar, I, I really don't cancel. know. Okay, so uh, I'm going to cancel and get cancel. out of that. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, thank you. Traffic is just, uh, you know, what the traffic is in your area. Um, we're not going to uh, go over that anymore. Pandora is if you're running the Pandora app. Uh, I'm not. Um, if you are, good for you. <laughs> let's go back to menu. Okay, so let's, there we go. And now settings. This is interesting. There's lots of stuff in here. Date and time. So you can set the date and time or you can click auto set and it will pull it off your, uh, off the cell network. So that's what most people want to do. Uh, same thing with uh, the date there. Uh, clock display. Do you want it on or off? Uh, I don't know why you'd want it off, but maybe you don't. Maybe you want it off. So there you go. Let's get out of that. Language is, there's three languages available in every, every Cadillac I've ever seen. 
English, French, and Spanish, valet mode. That is simply if you wish to uh, enable a password on the on your car so that uh, you can give your fob to a valet and they are limited to a, a slower set of uh, speeds. Um, uh, I've never used it. I don't know anybody that does. Um, there's probably some use for it, but I, and I, I think it's a really good idea to have, but it's not something that's being used. So, uh, let's click radio manage favorites. So, uh, why your manage favorites is under settings and not under radio. I don't know, but that's where it is. And you can see auto, uh, auto volume is in here and, um, you know, yeah. So we're gonna leave that alone. Vehicle, lots of interesting things in vehicles. So let's go there. Climate and air quality, auto fan speed. Right, so where do you want it? I want mine's at the medium. So that's when you press auto down here. Uh, what foot fan speed does that actually go to? Automatic heated seats. Uh, that's if it's cold you know, or hot. That'll be there. Auto defog, same sort of thing. It's common sense. Uh, in my case, I have uh, this plug-in option, which is saying, you know, would you want the heat to come out of the, uh, the wall uh, the electricity to come out of the wall for this. Uh, you won't have that in yours. It's only on the CT6s. Um, but that is a handy little setting. Let's go back here. Now in uh, collision detection uh, and avoidance, this is, uh, you know, do you want the seat to vibrate or do you want beeps? Uh, I want the seat to vibrate. Rear cross traffic, just that. So cross traffic seems to confuse people. What it is is if, if you're uh, backing out of a space, uh, it will uh, set the sensors to look further to the left or to the right uh, to see if there's a car coming towards you. That's the idea. And if there is, it will uh, pop up and, and buzz you. Uh, side uh, blind zone alert, same sort of thing. Let's go back here. Comfort and convenience. So auto memory recall. This is talking about your fob. So you can set one fob, you know, say for you uh, to have the seat, the steering wheel, temperature, everything in one, one uh, setup. And if it detects the other fob, perhaps uh, your spouse, uh, then it will, uh, you know, reconfigure the car to uh, them. Uh, I don't want that, so let's leave that alone. Easy exit uh, settings. That pushes your seat back. Drives me crazy. Hate it. Uh, most people love it, so I have it off. You'll probably want it, probably want it on. Um, chime volume kind of goes without saying. Uh, reverse tilt mirror, also a setting I thought I liked. I played with it for a couple of years. I now just have it off. Um, I just want the mirrors to stay where they are. But the idea is when you back up, do you want the vehicle to um, tilt the uh, rear view mirrors down so you can see more of what's behind you? And I just find it frustrating, so I turn it off. But most people will want that on. Uh, rain sense wipers, uh, yes, I definitely want those on as well. Uh, Bluetooth, that is only Bluetooth. Uh, I personally think that this should just be called, uh, you know, networking or something to that effect. And that's where you'd see your Wi-Fi settings, your Bluetooth, your whatever. And there it is. Uh, this car has not been upgraded. It'll be upgraded tomorrow. So today it only has CarPlay. Tomorrow it will also have Google uh, or Android Auto. Uh, voice uh, commands. Uh, yeah, nothing too interesting here. Confidence threshold is useful. Um, uh, basically, it, it's how much of a shot this thing takes uh, when it's guessing at what you're saying or conf sorry, confirm less. Uh, basically, I don't want it to say, or did you say blah, blah, blah? No, no, please do not ask me over and over again, um, you know, what, uh, what I just said. Uh, the display. So proximity sensing, um, that's the uh, hand uh, wave thing. Calibrate touchscreen, I won't do it, but if you did, it's basically if you touch things and it's off, uh, you know, you have to go to the left or to the right or above or down. If it's not touching correctly, you click calibrate touchscreen, and it will ask you to press the top left, top, you know, the four places on the screen, and then you're on your way. Turn the display off, but that's obvious. I'm not going to go over that. Rear camera. So let's go into rear camera. Guidelines. Yeah, I want the guidelines. Uh, so that's when, when you back up. If the uh, vehicle has, um, you know, it shows you the angles of, of what you're going to hit, what you're not going to hit. Uh, and the rear park assist symbols, that's uh, flashers and things. So we'll leave that alone. Uh, wipe the settings out is pretty obvious and system information is really only of use uh, if you need to take it in for diagnostics. If you uh, if you don't want to take a photograph of that or you don't want to write it down, the only interesting thing in here is you can select save to uh, save vehicle info to USB. Uh, system update will do nothing unless you're an admin, uh, which means you're a GM dealer. Okay, a couple of other things. Um, this is something that has confused lots of people. This button is the 
um, lane uh, keep assist. So in my case, I don't have the actual assist. What I have is warning, and that's what it's going to do. It's going to give me the uh, the, the uh, warning if uh, there's a vehicle that is, uh, or sorry, if I'm crossing a lane, and that will uh, um, show up in the uh, dashboard. Uh, and in my case, I have the system set to shake my seat on the left or the right side, depending on which side I'm going over, which line I'm going over. This is also the rear parking assist. And this is something also that confuses people. So um, you, if you press it down, nothing much happens. It only works when you put it in reverse. So now you can see, oop, there's my ski boots. <laughs> so I can turn rear park assist off uh, and I can turn it on. So let's just put that back in park. Well, we'll show you a couple more things and then call us a day. So uh, on most of the Cadillacs, there is a setting uh, here called uh, traction control. Uh, it shows up on the dashboard as a TC, uh, sort of a half tire with the letters TC and a line through it. Uh, so when I push this button, uh, the TC goes on and off on the dashboard. Uh, I can't think of any reason somebody would want the traction control off unless you're driving a V-Series and you're trying to impress your girlfriend or something. Um, and you want to light them up, light up the tires, but I, it's kind of nutty. So that's always going to be uh, off or on, I guess, uh, mode. Uh, so the mode button, uh, you can just keep pushing it, but look what it does here. So let's go back to the dash and we'll show you. So in the mode, I can, uh, set it to tour, which is its normal operating mode. In my case, mode means that it is, uh, using the battery first. Um, but again, that won't be for most people in most, uh, sport mode in my case means that it is using both the battery and the gas engine. But again, for most people, that'll just mean, uh, reduce the vehicle efficiency. Mountain mode is, uh, always run the electric engine. Again, you won't have that in most cars, just, uh, just ELRs and CT sixes, the, the plugins, uh, and hold is along the same line. The idea here is that you want to keep the electric, uh, juice until, uh, future time rather than, uh, you know, say when you're on the highway, because you want to use it for the stop and start traffic in the city, but again, not relevant for most people. Okay. One more thing to show on this car, there is a, uh, set of LEDs up there that are red and they project up onto the screen. And that is my lane or sorry, my vehicle collision avoidance system. And there are basically sensors on the front of the car that uh, tell the vehicle when it's getting too close to somebody. And I can press this button here and it will change the dash. Basically, how many vehicles apart do I want to be? And you can see pressing that button changes it. So uh, that's where the warning kicks in. So I'd like it on, you know, full. And of course, there's a few other bits like heated steering wheel hang up and so on and so forth. Could be easier cruise control settings. The only thing that's really not obvious here is the up and down. Um, it doesn't look like it goes up and down, but it does. So uh, that's for set and resume. That's it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. And we'll give you a hand. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.